Adherence to healthy living is much more protective against cancers and breast cancer than prostate cancer and colon cancer than screening tests are. And the idea that the medical profession screens people but doesn't advocate an anti-cancer lifestyle and diet, that itself is way out of proportion. Because these screening tests like mammograms and colonoscopies and prostate exams are very controversial and don't do much, if anything, to extend lifespan. They might reduce breast cancer mortality, but not overall mortality. Even taking blood pressure medications and statin drugs doesn't have a dramatic protective effect on overall mortality. It may reduce cardiovascular death from people who have cardiovascular vascular disease somewhat, but the effect on overall lifespan of the population, it doesn't really have much effect. What I'm saying is that the money, the effectiveness, isn't getting people to change their habits and have good, healthy, nutritional habits. And we don't focus on that. We focus on screening tests. Screening tests are whether you do it, whether you don't do it. That could be an individual decision between you and your doctor, what your benefits and risks are based on your lifestyle. But the bottom line is that's a much more unimportant argument than the lifestyle you're choosing to live on and the foods you're choosing to eat. Those are much more impact on your health than whether you're screen or not.